here. Um, I'll ask that you ask your questions into the microphone, and uh, of course a big welcome to the student journalists who are here today. So uh, we'll begin the press conference now. Who would like the first question? Hello. So you have recently beaten Bangladesh in your home soil, and now you are going to play him here. So how do you take Bangladesh as an opponent, or is that any advantage that recently you have beaten them? Uh, yeah, look, I think we've, um, we've played Bangladesh a lot uh, over the last couple of seasons, so um, yeah, we sort of know um, how they go about things, and in recent tournaments they've obviously played really well uh, over in the Champions Trophy a few years ago, and then obviously their game here uh, a few days ago, so we know what um, threats they have in their, in their side, but uh, you know, hopefully we can stick to the things that we do well and, um, and keep going on the momentum that we built up a few days ago. Tom, Bangladesh beat first match uh, South Africa, but some ex cricketer in the world area they said uh, is shocked. Do we think Bangladesh shocked South Africa? What do you think? Um, Bangladesh played a, a really good game of cricket. I think um, you know they, the way they went about things uh, in that first innings to to put a competitive score on the board and then uh, obviously apply that pressure with the ball. Um, you know, they played a fantastic game and, and we've certainly seen that in the past, um, how they put sides under pressure and I'm sure tomorrow will be no different. They'll be looking to put us under pressure and, and they'll be looking to, I guess, stick to the things that they do well in order to, to have success. So they'll certainly be coming, coming here tomorrow with a lot of confidence around how they went about things against South Africa. So hopefully we can or we can stick to our things that we do well and, um, and I guess, challenge them all the way. Simon down back. Tom, you had um, AJS Patel bowling to you in the nets yesterday. Was that a good um, preparation, knowing you'll face a left-arm spinner in Shakib tomorrow? Yeah, I think so. It's always valuable when, uh, you know, you have, I guess, a like-for-like -like bowling to in the nets. Um, you know, we, we know what sort of bowler Shakib is. Um, you know, he's had, obviously, a lot of success around the world for a long period of time and uh, he wasn't in New Zealand in our last uh, home, home summer series. So, um, you know, I think it's important that, I guess we, I guess, get used to a left arm uh, spinner and, um, you know, we're certainly looking forward to the challenge of, of facing him tomorrow. Tom, it's a day-night game tomorrow. Are you expecting that to make much difference in terms of uh, playing under lights? Uh, I'm not 100% not sure on that. Um, you know, sometimes it does under lights get on a little bit, so uh, it is a fresh wicket out there. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what we'll look to do, but, um, you know, if the dew does come in, into play uh, towards the end of the evening, then, um, you know, I think it's important that we try to adapt to that. We've played in conditions like this before where, where the ball, I guess, skids on or, or the dew plays a factor, so it's important that we, I guess, if it does come, um, try to adapt to that. So, um, you know, we haven't played one for a while, a, a day and so um, I'm sure the guys are looking forward to that. Uh, did you have one at the front? Oh, Brian? Um, have you finished your side? Have you got uh, you know set on the side, or are you only picking from thirteen? Uh, we're going in with the same side. Um, so yeah, obviously, I think the the way we played in the last game, um, I think you know bodes a lot of confidence for the group. I think the way the bowlers went about things, um, you know, they challenged the guys or challenged Sri Lanka, um, you know, pretty much from ball one, and um, you know, I'm sure that the same side is looking to hopefully repeat that tomorrow. Bolt, uh, so Bolt, uh, Henry, and uh, Ferguson, three of Bolt, uh, 150 around. Uh, so do you think that in the overcast condition in oval and the wicket will be, some grass will be there in the wicket? Do you think that is challenging for Bangladesh batsmen uh, or top order? Uh, I think, um, you know, Bangladesh uh, are a quality side who can, I guess, adapt to conditions um, really well. Um, I think, you know, for, for our bowling attack, we're used to bowling on our surfaces that do offer a little bit in terms of if there is a little bit more grass. So, you know, hopefully we can apply that pressure that, that we're used to. And, um, you know, I'm sure Bangladesh will be coming up with plans to, I guess, try counteract uh, our seam attack. And I'm sure it's going to bode for a, for a good contest. Uh, you've had a very successful tournament uh, so far, um, uh, early days yet. But what's, what's been the most difficult thing about the World Cup so far for you? Yeah, we've only had one game so far and, um, you know, we managed to, to play a good game of cricket, um, you know, against Sri Lanka. But I think the, I guess the important thing about this tournament is you play, um, you know, we play nine games at, at nine different venues around the country and it's important to, I guess, adapt to, to every surface, uh, every team as quick, quick as possible. You know, the way we, we usually play series back home, you, you know, you play two or three games against, you know, a side and you're, you're able to, I guess, try 
uh, you know, work out the way they go about things. But uh, you know, in a World Cup and in this situation, you you play you know everyone once, and uh, you know it's important that you. I guess adapt really quickly to, to what, what that side offers and uh, I guess we're lucky with you know, a side like Sri Lanka and Bangladesh who we have played recently in our home summer, um, you know, we are sort of familiar with them so I guess later on in the tournament when um, you know, we play sides that uh, we haven't played uh, that recently it's important that we try to adapt as quick as possible. Couple, one down the back there. Uh, Tom, uh, New Zealand win first match and Bangladesh win first match, are you going tomorrow's match will be a tough or fighting match? Sorry, say that again. Uh, New Zealand win first match and Bangladesh win first match. Are you going to Boros match would be a tough match both teams? I'm sure it's going to be a, a challenging contest tomorrow. I think um, you know the way we went about things uh, against Sri Lanka was was ideal, but we know we're going to be put under pressure uh, tomorrow and, and throughout this tournament. So um, uh, certainly looking forward to to the challenge of of doing you know it all again tomorrow and um, you know whatever Sri Lanka throw at us, you know hopefully we can I guess. You know, take a little bit of pressure from that and, and then again apply the pressure on them. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a good contest tomorrow and uh, we're certainly looking forward to it. Uh, Tom, in the last February when Bangladesh toured and that was unexpectedly cancelled due to an uh, unfortunate event there in your country. So that's the last time you've got two teams played and now tomorrow is a new game, of course. But will there be any effects or any memory or do you share any message to the world? Uh, yeah, obviously last uh, time um, Bangladesh were in our country, it was uh, obviously wasn't ideal uh, scenario, but it's obviously, you know, will we'll be great to see them tomorrow. They obviously left, um, you know, pretty quickly uh, fr from what happened. So, uh, you know, I'm sure both sides are looking, looking forward to getting out there and I guess getting back to the cricket field around what we love doing. Uh, you know, as I said, they, they left pretty quickly, so we didn't get a chance to, I guess, see them. But, uh, you know, it'll be great to, to get, out, get out in the cricket field tomorrow and, and do what we love doing. Hey Tom, uh, we've got Tim Southey and Henry Nichols nursing injuries. Can you confirm whether they were in consideration for this match, or just going to go with the same team regardless? Um, yeah, they're a day by day thing. Um, they're certainly getting better um, as as each day goes by, which is which is great. And um, I think you know for the the duration of this tournament, it's a long tournament, so it's important that you know if the guys make sure the guys are 100% fully fit um, by the time they, they get back on the park. So unfortunately, um, well, fortunately they, they're getting better day by day. So, you know, hopefully there'll be a chance, um, you know, for the next game. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers. Thank you.